What is going on, everybody? James Blue Eye Tech Company here, and I want to talk about my top three favorite features of the iOS 14 public beta. Now, I gotta say this though, when it comes to the betas, this has to be the smoothest running beta I've encountered so far. I've downloaded public betas, I want to say, since iOS 10. So if you are going to actually download the public beta on your phone, just keep in mind there are some, there are some, I've kind of encountered some glitches though, but this has actually been pretty smooth running, and I think definitely the bit this beta has made my phone a lot better. I love iOS 14. But that getting that out of the way, I want to talk about my top features. Now, this is no particular order, but starting with the first one here, uh, I do love the ability that we actually finally have widgets now. Uh, the ability to actually use widgets on my phone. Now, granted, these aren't similar to the way you would see them on Android, where you can actually pause and play the music and actually engage with the widget itself without actually opening up the complete app. Uh, but it is a step in the right direction for Apple. I do like this ability to actually customize any page you want, as opposed to having the widgets all the way to the left, that little screen that I never really ever used. I don't know if you did, but I never really used it. But being able to add widgets wherever you wanted on your phone, I think is pretty awesome. It's a step in the right direction. I really hope that Apple chooses to actually continue to make the widgets better. But I think widgets are pretty awesome. Now, the second thing I love about iOS 14 is actually being able to have picture in picture. Now, what this basically is, is being able to take any video that you're really watching and if, say if you want to get out of the app and go into something else, say if you want to reply to a text or something like that, though, but you don't want to actually stop watching your video, it will shrink the video down and put it in like a little corner of your phone. And you'll basically be able to continue watching your video while you're basically doing another task in a different app. Now, this isn't available yet for the official YouTube app, but there is a way you can get around it by going into your Safari web browser opening up YouTube through that way. And then you actually will have the ability to actually continue watching your YouTube video while you go into different apps. But I think this is kind of a cool feature. And the thing is too, is it doesn't just work with video. I was actually really surprised to find out it actually works with FaceTime calls. If say, if you're doing a FaceTime call and you want to look something up. So instead of getting out of the FaceTime app and your person you're calling with just sees the giant blurred out gray uh, pause screen, they'll still continue to be able to see you and you'll still continue to be able to see them while you're actually in a, another app doing something else. Now, the third and final thing I will say about iOS 14 that I really love, and I don't really know if you'll call this a feature, but it's definitely an improvement, at least for me. I have uh, the original first generation AirPods. Now, I've always had kind of a little bit of an issue with them pairing, especially on iOS 13, with them being able to pair up with my phone. I've usually had to go into the settings and just pair them manually. Uh, they would pair automatically on some occasions, but I've just always had a hard time getting them to pair on their own. But with iOS 14, they've definitely improved that by a lot. Like, I don't think I've ever had to go once into my phone and actually, like, manually pair it since actually running the beta. It actually has been really awesome. It, I don't have to open up my phone, go into settings, manually pair it, get out, go into the app I was originally going to go into and start watching or listening whatever I was going to listen to. And I think that is just a huge convenience, especially when I'm able to update the rest of my Apple products, being able to switch from one device to another more seamlessly with my AirPods is going to be a lot easier. What is your favorite feature of iOS 14? I would love to know what you guys think down in the comment section below. As always, it's been James with Blue Eye Tech, and I'll catch you guys next time.